Oye oh, yeah, amigos, today we got a new deck for you. I call this the Jinkataxis combo deck. We're going to use Jinkataxis, which whenever you cast an artifact, an instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. This ability triggers only once each turn. We want to get that with Endless Detour, at least two of them, so we can return one of the Endless Detours back to our hand and use the other to either put one of their spells, permanents, or card in a graveyard. The spells and the permanents will be usually on the opponent's side, return it to the bottom or top of their library, and the card in the graveyard will be another Endless Detour or a card that we would like uh, back in our hand. So these two will work well together. Uh, we got a lot of removal here, four Doom Scars, two Marches, two Wandering Emperors, one Borrowed Time, two Circle of Confinements, and three Portable Holes. Most of which, um, well, not most, but six of which can be tutored up with Elspeth's minus three ability. Uh, Elspeth's also in the deck for the plus one, which we'll put on our creatures to make them have lifelink or flying, first strike, whatever we need, vigilance. Got three counter spells, test of talents, and saw it coming. Uh, two Behold the Multiverse and two Revitalize for card advantage, the life gain too. And for ramp, we got three Restorations and two Shigekis, also can bring stuff back from the graveyard. And lastly, our dual purpose lands, which bring us up to a total of 26, our Undo Inversion, Boseju, Seagate Restoration, and one. Ganjo Seed of the Empire. Mostly all of the basic lands in the deck are planes for the restoration. And we get a bunch of dual and tri lands. So we're going to try and get the Jin out. Maybe it gets killed. We bring it back with an endless detour. But uh, once we get this online with a couple of these out, we hope to just keep repeating the procedure until the opponent either quits or loses. That's the game plan. Um, might not do great against Boros unless we draw a bunch of our removal early. Otherwise, we're hoping to go against mid-range. Alrighty, hope you like the deck. Jorge Herrera. Alrighty, what do we got here? Bunch of tap lands, but we go first. Black. We will foretell, because they're going to kill the Shigeki for sure. Just like we are going to kill the Giada. I don't hate either one. gonna be weird. I pay three life, play Shigeki. Maybe they don't exile it. Possibly we can either... Yeah, they're gonna kill it. That's fine, they can take their time and go slow. Good vanishing verse target, but so is the portable hole. Really? Blood Chief's Thirst? Well, yeah, we needed the land. We got the land. Now we portable hole. 
Valkyrie. Good, good choice. Borrowed time looked better on the Angel before. Hold up, saw it coming. That's fine, because now Doomstar is going to be even better. Take seven, go to nine. Now we got counter for any nonsense. Well, they're not playing blue, so. We can counter whatever they play here. Not that, though. That can be emperored. That we can't allow. Angels will have double strike, so we either have to play this or hold this up. Might, they might have another vanishing verse. I am the Emperor of Kamigawa, and I will protect my people. You're done. Okay. I'm glad he chose that, not one of these. Ooh, what can Shigeki get back? Good cards is the answer to that. We can hold on for two damage. Return two cards with Shigeki. We're gonna get Behold. We got removal in hand. Uh, another saw it coming. Well, let's try and get a land for this turn. Not the land I wanted. Perfect. <laughs> Fine with me. Gain the life back. That's pretty great. Question is, do we want to play Jin? It's going to counter any instance they have. Then we have combo. Yeah, that, that pretty much wraps it up right there. Got seven lands. Let's start real simple. We'll hold up the saw it coming and the endless detour. We can play both. 
get us a 4-4. Four -four. And now the opponent combined with Elspeth is just a couple turns away from death. Obviously, I'm going to counter that, or I'm going to put it on top of, well, no, yeah, there, I didn't have to counter that, I forgot the Jin already counters it, but yeah, that's, that's what we're trying to do with the deck. Don't know if you watched yesterday's game with the Vecna deck, but boy, was that tiresome. <laughs> that was a lot of gameplay just to try and get 188 Indestructible out. All right, we have first opponent. Medium Bob. All right, we got all three colors, early removal. No combo, but we want that later anyway. Okay, we're gonna play Undo, tap land first. We'll let him know we're playing a control deck right off the bat. Huh, okay. Go blue here, and Doomscar. Bard class, that's going in the hole. That's going right in the hole. Maybe they have another one. Tovalar is getting, getting killed one way or the other. Um, well, we have plenty of creature removal, so we're going to play the Iganjo. We don't have any green, but there's only two green cards. We'll play it if we have to. have an answer to Wandering Emperor. Probably have a damage spell. So I think I'm going to march this. That's that. Definitely had a good start against this deck. Probably could have got away with Wandering Emperor, but... Alright, got the dual land out. Hold up Emperor. This is a really only good option. I think we could take three for now. Let them play out a card first before we play the Emperor, so that way they don't have damage back up. Ooh, that's nice. Let's see if they make the wolves here. Hopefully. I guess they can't. They can add mana though. Gotta know we have Doomscar. There we go, we have the green land. And they have two cards in hand with a Den of the Bugbear. Pretty good for them. But we could play Jin Gataxias next turn, which is a great blocker. 
Wow. They had a really good answer to our Doom Scar. Could kill the den now, but I don't know if I'll draw land for Jin. can block any of their creatures except for that one. Which we're going to start with the den. Hopefully they didn't draw removal. Opponent attacking for a boatload. Finish the game next turn. So we now have scry two, draw two twice. No. Nope. Perfect. Yep. We can portable hole the big fell on endless detour. Or we can hold up the Emperor for the cave. Probably going to detour the Helena. Try not to die next turn. It's going to be hard to do. They just power up Den here. We're going to chump block and then Doom Scar and continue on from there. We're going to get to bring back something... So they do power up the den. Copy. And let's see what we got. Do we want one of these? March is nice. But I think we're going to return a wolf. Save our gin and Emperor next turn, but that would deal eight, so we really can't do that. All right, so we have enough for both, that works out. Emperor for the for whatever. That's not bad. I forgot we already killed the den. Ooh, they have something. Well, I guess this was priority. I'm not overconfident. You're just underwhelming. Let your blade do the talking. We'll hold this up. Create a second one. Actually, I should have just cycled this first. We must protect the people.
wonder if they have a braid they're thinking about destroying the uh, portable hole. Alright, well we can kill the Tovalar. Slowly chipping away at him. Remember your training. Three turn clock if a uh, wandering emperor stays out. Okay, that's good for us. Bosage is bad though. Boseju is a big boy. Question is, do I make a third attacker or put this up? I want to make a third attacker. Keep watch for intruders. I'll hold this in case we draw the restoration, the seagate, help us draw more cards. Well, that's pretty good. That's also good. Opponent not short on blockers. Opponent just going off. <clears throat> Try not to miss me. Well, that was about the stupidest turn in magic I've ever seen. save that game. That's that's how nuts all that deck can get over one turn. It's a pretty good hand. White green, okay. In that case. Well, that's a stupid card. We need blue more often. It's tempting to just play the restoration. This thing, this thing could make it bananas next turn. Let's hold up the sock coming and see what they do. I hope they play a rune targeting this. That's fine. Right into the Doom Scar. Just 
Just two lands. They might have played it different if we had played the restoration last turn. They're worried about the Aganjo land. They are worried about the seed of Aganjo. Where's my MTGA assistant? Do we return it just to make their turn next turn living hell? And that way we can play Restoration and hold up the Doom Scar. That works. Are they have full control. What's going on? They put it on top. They miss a land drop next turn too. And then we Doom Scar. They wanted no part of that. Perfect card for this matchup, too. We're going to ramp right into it. Maybe. We are ramping next turn. Unless we pull, like, a portable hole or something. That's bad turn. That is a bad turn three for them. I think free Shigeki's worth it. We can hold up the saw it coming. circle of confinement here. That'll work. Attack us for five. Next turn we return this and probably Doomscar. But we do have a blocker. Ooh, that's perfect actually. That is perfect. Second green. Now we get to ramp and march. And chump block. Fine by me. That's not great. could return this and Doomscar. How much do I like this? Let's see if they block. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're one away from Ondu, which is nice. So we can play Shigeki and hold. Well, how many cards do we have? We can get two back. If we draw a land, we're gonna inversion. So we just we just pass turn. That's perfect. If they hit the Architect, that is perfect. 
One of our two cards we get back will be a Ganjo, and the other will be probably another Endless Detour. Alright, we prevent all card draw. By the way, we're getting the Aganjo so we can play the Ondu Inversion. Oh, we can't get that because it's legendary. We'll get Detour and... March. Alright, so now we are definitely going to Doom Scar since we didn't draw the land. And we can always march the borrowed time instead of waiting on Ondu, but we'll see what they play first. We're not in a big rush right now. Finally a land. We can get back that with Poseju. Let's do it now. Hold up the March and the Test of Talents. Unfortunately we ramped them. So this is not a regular runes deck. Well, hopefully they go a little bit nuts this turn and then we just destroy everything. We could take three. We're going to discard the test. They don't really have any... any cards we really like, so we're going to put the... Iganjo onto the field. We can always endless detour later and grab and grab um, the Boseju to destroy their enchantments. We're killing them on lands, but they're killing us on cards. And that's helpful for them too. Anything we want back right now that we want to play right now? No. Well, let's prevent them from drawing a card next turn. We kill that in case we grab the Undo Inversion to use again with the Endless Detour. OK. 
Okay. We march it. We know we're gonna. We know we're gonna get back the Shigeki because we want to draw a ton of cards next turn. And now, in order to prevent damage, you know what? We're just gonna straight up kill the. Wedding announcement. We can take the damage. Now we get Shigeki to bring everything back. We got two, three, four cards we can bring back. That's going to be a big boy. It would reduce it to two cards if we did that. Let's grab three. March. Restoration and revitalize. And now we kill the five five. We're on a good cycle right now with the detour and the shigeki. It's going to be hard to kill us. We'll grab the second planes before we revitalize, just in case that was the next card we were going to draw, which is exactly what happened. Five, five, okay. We're definitely grabbing the Shigeki again. It gets a little repetitive, but eventually we'll have so many cards in our hand, it'll we'll have seven, they'll have two or whatever, and we'll just have answers to everything. And this right here will help ramp. Anything else down here worth getting? Nope. I should have done one. Yeah, I'm gonna do one. Bring it back. Put out the deserted beach. And that's the turn. One, two, three, four. We can get five cards back. We're probably gonna get four. One of which is the March, which we're going to use on the Shigeki. March, Endless Detour, Revitalize, and Endless Detour. Opponent's got to be getting tired of this crap, but you never know. We are going to have two big boys coming out next turn, too. All 
that, that's, this, this is going to be disheartening for him. Let's revitalize now. Foretell. Pass the turn. Still no gin. But other than if they have portable hole, I don't I don't really know what this deck no, they wouldn't even run that because it's an artifact. I don't know what it would end up countering, it would just double spells for me. Do we let him take it and grab... well, we can't grab another plane, so... We're gonna return it. We already grabbed our last planes. And now... We grab Shigeki. by me. Good Doom Scar right here. And then just return a bunch of stuff next turn. But I don't think that's the way. Because we have enough to remove this thing anyway. We got four. We got five returns. That's basically that's basically game right there. That's too much damage for them to take two more turns of. Opponent done. Opponents had enough. <clears throat> Let's talk about the deck a little. We get to see the power of the mostly Endless Detour Shigeki combo. We wanted to see a little more Jin Gitaxis. We did get to see it in the first game. Um, you don't have to put this card into the stack. You can just do the Visionary and the Detour, and that should be enough to overcome most opponents. Maybe put a little more card draw here, a couple of deluges. I didn't put them in because copying it with this, you're spending zero mana on it, so you would draw zero cards. So you could take these two out, put in two uh, deluges, take or four, and take out the two beholds, or maybe go two and two. This is nice to foretell and play on turn three sometimes, especially in slow games. I like the way the removal went. Um, you can choose any number of circles and borrowed times in this this three slots. I like the circles. Uh, this can hit more, but it costs more, obviously. And yeah, I like it. Um, Boros matchup, real tough. So if you did get rid of this, maybe not add two delusions. Maybe add another portable hole and another circle. If you're playing a lot of Boros and other really fast aggro decks, the Undo Inversion came in handy as we saw in the last game. I would keep that in here. Uh, the Elspeth, I like it, especially if you do end up taking out the gens and putting in more of these because you're going to be able to tutor them easier. 
And yeah, this is a winner deck. Um, I went three and one. Though one of the wins was a pretty quick drop. I think I test of talents their um, expressive iteration, and they just they were done playing at that point. Turn three, so I'm not not even worth showing the game. But I hope you guys like the deck, and I hope one of you subscribes. I've had like three subscribers in 28 days. Pretty good for me. Uh, maybe we can make it four in 28 days. Adios, amigos.